May our Heavenly Father bless and keep you from all evil. And may your hearts be full of love and joy and your lives void of all malice and reviling. May your lips utter no guile and may you burn bright with the light of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That the world not see you, but that it see the love of Christ burning through you, hotter than the sun. And I hope and I pray that your prayers be like a sweet smelling savor as you live your lives in constant prayer, walking in the full armor of God and walking in peace with your eyes focused on New Jerusalem and not on the things of this world. For what have we to fear if we are in Christ? For if he floods the world with fire, he's the fourth man in the oven. Our beloved Lord Jesus is the ark. And if we abide in him, how should we perish in the flood? The love of Christ shuts the mouths of the lions, even if our enemies cast us in there with them. And this flesh returns to the dust from whence it came. Hallelujah. Because our spirit, our Ruach, returns to the very Father who gave it. And never again will we be away from his near presence. I hope and I pray that God fill you overflowing with his oil, his Holy Spirit. For it is the honor above all honors to be twain with our Holy Father. And it, it is an honor to labor in this vineyard until his triumphant return. Forget not what the baptism means. For we are all reborn as a new creature in Christ. For as we go under the water, so will we one day go under the ground. And just as in death it could not hold him, so it is with us, his children. For as we come up out of the water, so will he raise us up on that last day unto eternal life. And our portion of this race is faith, and by faith we are the children of Abraham, Abraham who believed God, and when it seemed impossible, Abraham believed and was obedient, and it was counted to him as righteousness. And so will our Heavenly Father do unto us, for our faith is not in ourselves and in our righteousness, but our faith is in his only begotten Son. He is our righteousness. And just as Abraham sought the city made by God, built with the very hands of God, not built with the hands of men, that very same reward that Jesus promised those who love and follow him, I go to prepare a place for you, so that where I am ye may be also. And he said, Behold, my reward is with me. And when he returns, we will be where he is, New Jerusalem. Jesus told us to carry our cross. And just as we are to be partakers of the riches, we are also told that we are going to be partakers of his afflictions. So think it not strange, but rejoice, for great is your reward in heaven. And the afflictions and the tribulations we may endure in this life are nothing more than a blink of an eye when we compare it to an eternity with our Heavenly Father. And all of these momentary sorrows are tears that will be wiped away by the very hand of God Himself. And though the people of this world are trying to instill fear, and hatred in you. You're not like them, so don't be like them. Love as you have been loved. Forgive as you have been forgiven. And let the light of Christ shine through you. <laughs>